Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here today to share with you my most recent wax and candle empties. Um, it is December and I am fortunate enough to still be able to film outside. I'm sorry that the angle isn't looking out at the pool, but just not how it worked out today. So the first candle that I finished is a Hallmarks candle and it is an oatmeal cookie. Also excuse my nail polish, it needs to be changed. It is sweetened oats, brown sugar, baked cookies, baked cookie and raisins. And it's in this beautiful like cranberry colored jar. And as you can see, this burned beautifully. Um, I really do not have an issue with Hallmark's candles. This is a three wick. Um, the thing I will say about this candle is sometimes when I warmed this, when I burned it, it was very, very strong. Um, you could really smell like authentic um, oatmeal cookies. Other times it was just kind of like in the background, all depending on what I was warming in terms of wax that made a difference with that. The other candle that I finished is from uh, Bath and Body Works. It is a white barn candle in crushed candy cane. This is from last year. Um, I didn't buy this this year. I didn't buy, did I buy any winter candles from Bath and Body Works this year? I don't think I did. And I did not participate in candle day. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Crushed candy cane is crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, frosted mint leaf, and then it says with essential oils, which whatever. Um, again, this burns really, really beautifully. Um, this, the little marks down here that you see is from when I trimmed the wicks. Um, it kind of like rubbed over here. But to me, this was a flawless burn. This smells delicious. This is such a delicious strong, authentic peppermint, no bakery or anything like that mixed in, just delicious peppermint candy canes. So really, really loved that. I would definitely repurchase. Okay, on to wax. We will do Scentsy Wax first. For some reason, you guys, I do not have a lot of empties, and I think it's because I was working on um, a lot of larger sized items, um, bricks, from Sensi, loaves from various vendors, and I just didn't finish um, as much as I think I normally do. So the first one is from, well, the next few are from Sensi. This is Jack's Obsession, and I love the packaging. There are different um, packages, packages, packaging with the scent, and it's apples spiced with clove and cinnamon, and I love this one. Um, I do melt this kind of on the often side in my classroom, and I get so many compliments. I'm sorry, see, now I'm outside and I can hear, I hope you guys can't. My kids and my husband are watching some movie or sports or something, and I can hear them yelling, and I am so sorry. I'm apologizing right now for that. Um, house with boys is a, noisy house. Um, but anyway, Jack's Obsession, I love this. When I warm this in my classroom, people constantly compliment. My boss loves this so much um, that I did gift her some. Um, it's great. I, yeah, I mean, I'll warm this year round. I'll definitely be warming more of it after Christmas when we go back to school and stuff. It's just really good. It's long lasting, it's strong. It performs really, really well for me. Um, another, Another Scentsy, of course, because that's what I'm doing right now. This is baked apple pie, and I do love this. Um, I hear mixed reviews on this one. Some people say that they don't really get a good performance from it. I do. Um, again, I, I think that this whole bar was warmed in my classroom, which right now I had the, um, the Beauty and the Beast, the Mrs. Potts warmer in my classroom, and then right after Thanksgiving, I brought in the Holiday Lights, Warmer from Scentsy. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Um, it's like a red, it's a 25 watt bulb warmer. It's like a 
deep red, almost like a cranberry um, color. And it, um, I'm sorry, I'm very distracted because I hear so much noise in my house. It has like old school bulbs on it. And I am pretty sure it's from like 2012. Um, and I, 2012, 2013, and that's when I bought it. And it is a wonderful, wonderful performer. And it adds a little holiday magic to my classroom. Um, but we're talking about baked apple pie. And I love this scent. This is in my club for December, which should be shipping in a couple days. Um, I have the brick coming as my half off item. And it's flaky crust, apples and spices. And this really does taste like taste. It's been a long week. Smell like a um, authentic apple pie. Really, really enjoy that. Pink cotton. I feel like I always have this in an empties. This was melted upstairs. It's clean cotton, pink berries, and vanilla sugar. I love this in the laundry as well. Um, really fantastic. Great performer. Long lasting. All the things. Wassel Wonderland, which this one was actually from last year. I did not purchase the um, Sense of the Season for 2020 um, because I do not like the cookies for Santa. And there was another one, some type of like fire something that I heard um, smelled like barbecue sauce or something. I was not interested. So once we were able to um, buy them separately, that's what I did, but this was from last year. I love Wassail Wonderland. It's the closest thing that I can find to spice grapefruit, which is a favorite, favorite, favorite of mine from Scentsy. It's orange zest, lemon peel, cinnamon stick, and fir needles. Um, I do have a few other Wassail Wonderlands as well as the other um, scents that I was interested in getting from the Scents of the Season, which you will see those in upcoming empties. Um, Oh, and lastly, Sensei, you guys, this is the um, sample of Sun Ripens Berry, which will be available in January 2022. You have to get this. This is so, so amazing. I love this so much. This is going to be great for after the holidays. Um, once you're tired of winter scents, like I'm thinking like March, and then all summer. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. It is um, strawberry sugar, orange sorbet, and raspberries. This is delicious. Now, I did warm this in my um, master bathroom, which there's not a toilet in that area. The toilet is in a separate like closet with a door. So that door is always closed. So it's, I don't like melting um, like fruity foody scents in my bathroom. So that's why I did it in the master bathroom because it's closed off from the toilet area, if that makes sense. So just the shower tub and the sinks are in there. This is a powerhouse. This was like going out through my bedroom into the hallway. This is so delicious. I knew when I opened this in my whiff box, I knew that it had to have raspberries in it. You get the raspberry, you get that citrus note from the orange, you get a sugary note from the strawberry. This is so good. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get that. Okay, then that's it. That is it from, um, from Sensei. So I did um, replace a couple wallflowers. Um, and this one is in fresh balsam. And this is going in the room that has the Christmas tree in it. And it's woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. You guys, this is very strong. It says increased intensity, so they like upped their the scent in here. This is fantastic. I love, love, love this. Um, I think I have a couple more, so definitely going to enjoy um, having that during the holiday season. And then upstairs in the hallway, I have um, Falling Flurries, which it says it's a holiday favorite. And it is Frozen Thyme, Fresh Eucalyptus, Ripe Pear, and Sandalwood. Again, strong. Um, these are not disappointing me as of late, so we shall see. 
Um, I bought those when they had like that really good deal on them. I don't know, were they $2.95 or something? So I kind of stocked up. Okay, <clears throat> now on to the wax. I have a couple from the bathing garden. The first one is in sugared pie crust, and that's exactly what this is. It is bakery, doughy, deliciousness. Really, really enjoy this. <clears throat> this is great all by itself, and it's also excellent to warm with other bakery scents to kind of amp it up a bit. Really, really good. Would repurchase. Yeti Nog from the Beating Garden, you guys. This is a dupe for Lush's um, Yagnog. I'm so obsessed with this. I, I, I really am. Um, I love the shower, the shower gel from Lush and Yagnog. It's just a fun, gourmand, delicious scent. And I love this in the bakery, I'm in the wax. I'm kind of selfish with it and I find myself just wanting to warm it in my bedroom and not really share it with the house. So there's that. That is my last clam of it, but I do have a, um, what are we calling it? A bathing garden haul coming up soon. So you'll see what I picked up there from sugar and spice this is warm vanilla sugar that's exactly what this is just like bath and body works this is delicious it's body care-esque i love it love it love it and i get a craving for this every so often and i definitely have more of it it's strong and it's fantastic really really like that this is unwind it was a sample from k scented melts which i talked about this before because i paired it with peppermint um from Rose Girls. This has eucalyptus and peppermint in it. This was really, really nice. I warmed this in my bedroom alongside the Rose Girls peppermint and another warmer. Really fantastic. Another one from Kay, which this is available now, is in Peppercorn Pomander. And it does smell like an orange that you have stuck cloves in. This is really a lovely, lovely scent. So perfect for the holidays if you are somebody that likes those scents. From Waxidents, I warmed Road Trip, which is Starbucks coffee type, vanilla ice cream, salted caramel liqueur, and toasted marshmallow. Delicious. This was going one morning in multiple warmers. And you really smell like vanilla ice cream. It's not just plain vanilla, like it smells like actual ice cream. Um, it's really good with the coffee. Sometimes my mom would have coffee at night and she'd put a little scoop of vanilla ice cream in it if she didn't have like milk or cream or whatever. And that's what this reminds me of. This was really, really nice. It performed well and it was long lasting. I love Waxidents. If you have not checked out Waxidents, I encourage you to do so. From L3 Waxy Wonders. This was in a Bitty Betty loaf. This was Campfire Mallow and White Elephant Exchange. So her White Elephant Exchange is a powdered donut, vanilla wafers, white cake, and vanilla frosting. And then you got that like um, toasted marshmallow note with it. This was decadent and delicious. And I enjoyed warming up all throughout the house at night. Really, really good. Here's the Rose Girls Peppermint that I spoke about earlier. This was in her Mini Melters. I love her peppermint. It is so, like, nose clearing true. Not candied, just like a straight up, like, peppermint oil. Like, if you were to diffuse a peppermint oil, that is what this is. It's delicious. Sticking with Rose Girls, this is Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. It's eggnog, donut holes, cookies, and marshmallow smoothie. Fantastic. I had to put this in um, another bag because when I got this, I want to say I got this in like June or July. Um, the bag was like really split. So I just bagged it again and have been enjoying it. I really do love bakery scents in my bedroom. Um, so I've been warming this for the most part in there in the two warmers and really, really love it. 
This is from Destination Wax. This was a loaf that my friend Katie, um, T and Katie, sent me in a very recent friend mail that I um, did a video on. If you have not watched her videos, check her out. This is in Jelly Cronut. She shared like a ginormous amount of the loaf with me. It's a flaky, buttery croissant donut filled with blackberry, raspberry, and strawberry jam. Oh, bakery, bakery goodness. So yummy, it will satisfy your sweet tooth. It was amazing and I went through this faster, faster than I wanted to because I couldn't get enough of it. Um, really, really enjoyed that. And then just a couple like bags and we are done. Like I said, did not do a whole bunch. This is from L3. This was in like her, oh, it's Trig Tart. In Pumpkin Apple, that's exactly what this was. Um, something about the apple in this one, and I know I've said this before with this pumpkin apple, the apple is more like candied apple than like a Macintosh apple. I don't know exactly what apple is in it, but I still really like it and I would definitely repurchase it. I'm just saying it's not, when I, the first time I warmed it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And then from Lasting Scent Candles, you guys, if you have not tried her, she was around for a long time. Like when I first got into vendor wax, I want to say. And then she wasn't um, making wax for a while. She came back a few months ago. And I don't know if she has like a schedule of how often she is pouring or anything like that. But I want to say when I was scrolling through Facebook yesterday, she had another kind of like restock of certain things. Um, I did not participate because I didn't see it when it first came out. But this is from, oh gosh, a month or so ago, maybe a couple months ago. I don't know when I was fortunate enough to see that she was opening to pour um, certain things. So this was in Candyland Dreaming and her wax is a soy um, wax. I don't love her bags because they have that like sticky, but you can always um, they're like the snap bars. You can always take them out, rebag them, do what you want with it if you're not using them, like in a timely manner. This is just peppermint deliciousness, like a creamy, delicious peppermint. Really, really enjoyed this. It was good. It was long lasting. I think I had all hits this week. And then another one from Lasting Scent Candles was in Toasted yeah, Embers. And again, like a roasty, toasty marshmallow over the fire. This was delicious. Enjoyed this at night um, all throughout the living space. Um, yeah, really, really good. Love, love, love this. Definitely, if you get the opportunity to order from Lasting Scent Candles, do so. You will not be disappointed. And that is everything that I have for you guys. There may be other videos that upload tonight. I'm not sure. I'm going to see. Um, Let's see what's going on. So that's everything, guys. I hope you are all doing well, staying safe, getting ready for the holidays, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.